Comic Impact. Welcome to New This Week on Comic Impact. I'm Sheldon, your humble host this time. Uh, I know you came to hear about the comics, so let's get right into them. First of all, this is going to be a huge, huge Marvel Now week. So strap yourself in and be prepared to hear a lot of Marvel Now books, because guess what? I'm going to be talking about a lot of them. So the first one you need to get excited about, get pumped about them, is uh, All New X-Men by Brian Michael Bendis and Stuart Emmerman. Um, this book is basically old beast, uh, our beast, the hairy blue cat looking beast, is going to go back to back in time to see himself. I don't know what he's going to talk about. You, you know what? We have some preview pages for that one on the site. Go check it out. We actually have a few other ones as well as Thor and, and a couple of them. Anyway, check them out. Go to the site. Uh, you can't, you can't knock the site. You love the site, right? Yeah, you love it. Okay, so let's talk about another book. Uh, oh, by the way, you're going to have like 12 different covers for that new X-Men, all new X-Men. It's kind of crazy. One of them uh, is even the Michaela cover where, she, where it's a, it's not her, it's Deadpool, and he's like holding flowers, and he's like... So, uh, check that out. Um, the other one we have is Avengers Assemble number 9. This is Kelly Sue DeConnick, uh, which is Matt Fraction's wife, and uh, Stefano Caselli, who used to do Amazing Spider-Man, and you've heard me talk about uh, that work, and it's just beautiful. Uh, Check it out if you don't believe me, Amazing Spider-Man, past issues. Um, regardless, this book uh, I thought was going to be a continuity, but apparently 1 through 8, I guess they weren't sure or what was going on, or Marvel just said, you know what, just put it in there. But this is a Marvel Now book. This is a book you need to be into this week, because I guarantee you, when you're around the water cooler, that, that doesn't happen anymore. When you're talking to your friends online in the chat rooms, that's where that's going to happen. That's where you can be like, well, I, I read this, and that makes me very cool. And they will say, yes, yes, it does. And where did you hear this news? And you'll be like, oh, yeah, Comic Impact. Don't forget that. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, non-Marvel book. I'm going to leave you one non-Marvel book that you need to be into this week, and it is Batman, Death of the Family, number 14. The Joker's back. Sans a face, <laughs> and uh, he's wearing it as a mask. <laughs> That's pretty creepy, right? Um, it's Scott Snyder. It's amazing. Get on top of that. Batman number 14. That is a book everyone will be talking about in the blogosphere. I'm going to start using, like, catchphrase words. Um, what else we got? Ah! Fantastic Four is now starting all over. So with, with that, you're going to get a completely different uh, writing team on it. And that team, Matt Fraction, speaking of Matt Fraction, and Mark Bagley. Um, I think they're going to stick to the, the basics of what Kirkman was doing and continue the story from there, but it looks great. Check it out. Uh, that's Fantastic Four number one, folks. I'm not lying. Number one. That's part of a Marvel Now book. This Marvel Now stuff is going to get crazy. Uh, and it's only going to get crazier because we have a, where is it at, Thor, God of Thunder, number one, again, another number one. Uh, I believe Asad Rabik, Rabik uh, does the, the interiors and Jason Aaron is doing uh, the story for it, so it should just be great. Uh, if you like the Thor stuff that was going before, this is a little bit of a different idea going forward with the story. If you don't believe me, again, this is one of those ones we have preview pages. Go check the site, because it's awesome. Um, I wouldn't tell you that if it wasn't 100% true. Mainly. Um, then we have Walking Dead, number 104. <sighs> just go. Just read it, okay? Uh, it has a cool picture of Carl on the, on the cover. And it looks like he's going to try to take command and get things done his way. Which means he's going to be blowing stuff up. So <laughs> check it out. Uh, that's Walking Dead from Image Comics. That's the only one of two non-Marvel books. And you know what? I'm going to throw one more non-Marvel book just to sort of even things out a little bit. Uh, where is Jake Ellis number one? This is obviously from Who is Jake Ellis? This is Image Comics. This is one of five, so it's going to be a mini. And if, if it's Nathan Edmondson, of course, and uh, Tonic Zanjig. Uh, I hope that's how you pronounce his name, because that is a tough name to put on me. Why would they do that to me? Um, basically, this, uh, as I said, takes up with the whole storyline for Who's Jake Ellis from Image Comics. Uh, it, it's won a, a lot of uh, critical praise. Check it out. Guys, that's it for me for this week on November the 14th. Uh, I hope you enjoy your comics this week. Uh, thank you for following us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Tumblr. You know what? Wherever the internet is, we are.
I know there's some really questionable places on there, but we're there and it's not always nice. Uh, but keep following us, keep checking us out. We're going to keep checking you out, not in a weird way. And uh, I will see you uh, the week after next. And go listen to the podcast, folks. Go read your comics. You can't hang around here all the time, so get go. Get out of here. Have a good week coming back. Bye.